Let's talk today about the Eastern Mountain Sports Mountain Light 20 and how it did at 22 degrees. Let's take it out. So here it is, Eastern Mountain Sports Mountain Light 20. Pretty lightweight bag at 2.14 pounds and uh, it performed admirably. Definitely at its limit at 22 degrees. And that's what we're gonna talk about. My main complaint on this is the draft tube. Uh, I felt cold air coming in through the draft uh, tube area um, almost the entire uh, time I was in the bag. And that is definitely the one thing that stuck out. On top of that, this anemic uh, draft collar. Uh, if they just put some nubs on the end here, just brought these up here a little bit and made it kind of form fit to the sides a little bit better. And maybe just added a little bit more insulation here. This would have been a pretty good uh, draft collar, but this is pretty weak and anemic also. Like I complained about on the Kelty, uh, the hood is actually good on this. Uh, I liked how the one that cinched down the way the hood was, um, you know, if you actually took the hood design on this and applied it to the Kelty, that might be like your ultimate budget down bag um, because the hood was really great on this one. On the Kelty, it wasn't so great. The warmth on this one was not so good, but the warmth on that one was really great. So if they uh, got together and made a baby, it might be a really good bag. So let's talk about the numbers here. So it had a jagged warm up. When you look at the chart, you can see that it kind of came up and then, you know, we get warm and kind of, it kind of bounced around the top and once it started warming up, it was never like a pretty, it wasn't an even warm up. Um, you know, and then it actually dropped. The last rating it dropped down, so it stopped warming up on the very last reading. Um, I think it's past its limit. The limit's probably more towards 30 degrees on this one. Um, you know, on this one, when I went out, it said it was 19 degrees on the Bluetooth thermometer outside, um, and then the weather app said it was 24 degrees outside. So I just split the difference, said it was 22 degrees outside, and that's what we rolled with. Um, the zipper was a cold area, decent hood, bad draft collar, needs to be bigger and wider. Talked about that, now let's get to the numbers. It did get up to 75 degrees after 30 minutes. At that point it started floundering off. Um, it was definitely the lowest of the three I tested that night. Um, and it just floundered off and then tailed off at the end. Um, so I think you keep this one above 30 degrees, you'll be really happy, you have a 2.14 pound bag and I don't think like the zipper and stuff would bother you as much as it would you know down around 22 degrees like I had it so an ultimate rating of 76 degrees on the last reading is uh, eh, you know like I've tested some zero degree bags I've gotten over the eight even to the 80s um, you know 78 and above is, is a good feel for me so once I hit 78 I'm starting to feel really good in the bag um, you know below 78 ish not feeling that great in the bag because what you got to think of is the thermometer is right here you know everything else is a little bit less warm than where that area is so you know I think you know keep this one below 30 like I said and it'd be a good little uh, budget bag you know down bag so that is the mountain light 20 by Eastern Mountain Sports if you're looking for a budget bag keep this above you know 32 degrees 30 degrees I think uh, you'll be happy with it and uh, on sale, I think this would be something worth buying uh, as long as you know what its limitations are and you don't go beyond them. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. If you have a Mountain Light uh, 20 or even a Mountain Light Zero, go ahead and put down below what your thoughts are of it and see if it compares to what my experiences are with it. And until next time, later.